Hey, what's going on everybody out there? I'm Jake James Lugo. Welcome to the channel and welcome to this brand new JJ's First 20. As you guys can see, we're going to be taking a look at Phantom Breaker Amina uh, for the PlayStation 5. I was actually sent this by, uh, what is it, Rocket Panda and Majex Games. So big shout outs to them for sending it over to me early so I could check it out. Now, even though I know there's a lot of music and stuff playing out here, let's just skip this. We're going to get over that. Here's the main title screen for the game. Uh, so this game has been out for quite a while uh, on Steam, I believe it was, and other platforms. But this version of the game is brand new. It's actually a retouched or re uh, fine-tuned game or version of that game with a couple other extra things in it. So let's get into a singles match against the computer just because, just to kind of like do that and maybe we'll run through some arcade. But if you probably have uh, played this game before in the past on PC, but if you haven't, this will be a treat for you. Now, I didn't get too much into the story mode for this game. Uh, and it was only because some of the embargo details for when we got it was that we're not allowed to really talk about the story. So we're just going to focus mostly on the gameplay here. And uh, if you're into anime fighters, this might be up your alley. But more specifically, this is a little bit more geared to the people that love like waifu quote unquote fighters and that type of like character design. So let's just dive into this. Now, funny enough, uh, Phantom Breaker here has uh, some interesting things going for it that's a little bit different of a flavor compared to like Guilty Gear, compared to Blaze Blue, compared to Street Fighter, where the 2D animation looks really good, it looks awesome, and the effects look pretty dope. But as far as the fighting itself, you have a lot of like your special moves mapped to one button and, and uh, different directional buttons. And on top of that, you have different styles for each character. So it's kind of like the different like super type of like, you know, choices you have, or like the styles that you have in Mortal Kombat, which give you different uh, options for how your character fights. As you can see, I'm in a really weird stage right now, but still, it doesn't matter. Playing as like a maid. And one thing I will say that it's a little, I had to like really kind of tinker my brain to, was that supers and special moves aren't done with special like directional inputs, like as far as traditional Street Fighter inputs would be like. Ooh, damn. Oh, jeez. He's grabbing me. Let's go. Big damage. Ooh, it's tried to block down and it's tried to counter and I got freaking grabbed. Ooh, it did grabbed again. The computer the computer's a little bit of a pain in the ass. Look at that, they did an OTG. The computer is a little bit of a pain in the butt, not gonna lie. I'm playing on normal difficulty settings, so I'm not like doing like anything like, crazy like that, but it does present a lot of a challenge, so or a really big challenge. Now, as far as the characters are concerned, if you're not into the whole waifu style of anime characters, this isn't really going to be for you, I will say. If as far as you're into like a, a good fighting game with uh, good mechanics, there could be a hard argument here. Ooh, a clash. That's another thing with this game, like you get these clashes. Oh yeah, I couldn't get my super there. Ooh, went right through my attack. It's a little bit annoying, I'm not gonna lie, like when those clashes happen because it's the computer. Ooh, good one. Damn, I'm trying to get my super out. Good game. Got him, okay, right against the wall. There we go. Now, most of my special attacks I'm only doing with the actual X button here, which for some people, it might work. You get a little bit of that from like games like Guilty Gear, but if you're someone that loves more of like actually inputting directional buttons with different inputs, this might not be up your alley. You have to definitely find some your thinking when you're approaching. Now I'm trying to build a meter so I can actually show you guys some of the special moves that come from what's called this ominous style in the game. I'm gonna style what it does is it's like it allows you to be a little bit more powered up but also have other properties related to your attacks. Just you. freaking screaming. Saw that dodge right there. Ooh, grab. Come on, whoa. Big. Oh, wow. How did that miss? Okay, well, I got her. There we go. Gonna go big damage there. And I'm surprised that didn't even kill her there. 
I didn't even get to show you guys that power-up, because what you normally do is, is when you get a certain amount of meter, you could actually hit two buttons, and it goes into, like, this part-up state. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the end groove from, like, Capcom versus SNK2, but it depends on the style that you choose, right? And not every character is going to work the same when you go into something like that. It kind of mildly changes it, but that's just one character I played as the maid. Let's go into somebody different, do another match, and then I'll show you guys some of the other modes and stuff. Let's, uh, let's go to... Hmm, I'm sure we mess around with that. That's like interesting that I've played with because I play with the majority of these characters, not everybody. But there's some interesting ones here. Again, if you're into this style of like anime type of characters, now let's go with Ren. Let's go with uh, so here you can see the different styles, right? We got the ominous style, which is what I was using before, a style lacking complex mechanics but enhances the character's overall specs. So you have like your little stats there going into that ominous state or that powered up state allows that to be played around with. Then you got hard style, which is a little bit much more like hard hitting attacks. Very similar to like Sh Samurai Showdown, if I had to do like a fighting game comparison. And then quick style, which is stuff that leads into like combos and things that more hits that you land, the more damage you're gonna actually do. So let's try it with, uh, let's try it with quick style, just to kind of mess around with it. And let's go with another character that we could fight against. Um, try to see, because there's a lot to choose from here. Let's go with, uh, Let's go with her. Yeah, then we'll give her. Wait, she only has one type of style. Oh, let me see. She only got one type of style. Huh? That's interesting. I didn't know that. Let me. Okay, she's got different styles, but everybody else has like different styles. That's surprised that she only has one. That's very interesting. I didn't know that before. But let's go with somebody else so I can actually go with a hard style. Let's go with him. Infinity. Hard style. Just to show you guys the difference in the way that characters play. The stages themselves are pretty interesting. So you guys can see, let's go to a different one that we have. Like This one's more kind of like a school uh, parking lot or like a mall parking lot. Again, very anime tropey as far as the locations and the vibe that you get from this game. I appreciate that. I think it's totally fine. It's totally cool. And hopefully you guys notice too, the green screen that I'm using with this actual uh, video. First time I'm doing green screen. I'm going to start doing this on my streams a little bit more often. Ooh, look at that. Nonsense. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, hold on a second. Nonsense. Oh, look at that. I just ran right through his attack. You saw that? I was like, no, get that garbage out of my face. Ooh, that was gonna hurt. Did some big attacks in there, yes. Nonsense. Oh. Whoa, what the heck was that? Big time damage, son. Yeah. I'm trying to connect that into a super. Oh, big time damage, son. Yeah. Oh, wow, that didn't kill him. I'm surprised. There we go. I had to hit him twice there to get the kill. Because he had like no damage. And here's the thing, too, right? <laughs> you actually recover a little bit of health depending on what style that you choose as you're going along. I'm not sure if that's for every style. The game just kind of doesn't make it that clear. We're going to get hurt. Did that again? Actually, no, we didn't take anything with that. You saw that? Oh, damn, throw me. Damn. Well, we're just gonna dodge that. Oh, wow, he just like, grabbed me. He was like, no, son. Go right through that. Oh my god, I clashed like three times. Whoa. Oh, really? After I did my attack. Got him, son. Do big damage. Let's go. Big time damage, son. Wow. Is that all? Oh man, I was I thought we were gonna combo in super. I forgot I don't have no meter. Oh, get that garbage out of my face. Yeah, I did it! <laughs> As you can see, there's a lot of back and forth, and again, different styles with different characters give you different results like that. Now I'm not sure if a lot of this was in the original fight, huh? version of Phantom Breaker. Again, I never played it. This is the first time I'm actually really playing this. But it's interesting nonetheless to mix things up a little bit. So Let's try one more matchup, and then I want to show you guys some of the other modes. Kind of keep in, in line with what we do here. So let's go with a little bit more waifu action. Let's go with Rimi. 
Actually, you know what? No, let me try to use a character that I haven't really used before. Because I didn't use it in this video, but I've done it before. I'm trying to see who I haven't used yet. That'll be interesting. Uh, let's go with Gaito. Actually, no, not that Gaito, because I've used him before. I'm trying to see who I haven't I messed with. Uh, and Tokia. Yeah, let's try Tokia. He, see, he seems like really, really clean. That was who we were just fighting. But let's go with a hard style. Yeah, you know, actually, you know what? Let's go quick style, just to try it again. Or Betty have no, because I didn't use hard style now. So you know what? Let's go hard style with him, and then we'll go up against. Who's this person over here? Okay, yeah, let's go with Rhea. Rhea, we're gonna do with Amina style. And now uh, keep in mind, I'm not doing it yet, but I just saw before that I noticed. You have different outfits and color skews for all the characters. Very similar to what you see with like a Guilty Gear Blaze Blue. There's a bunch of them to mess with. Let's go, uh, should we go to the Rumpanki, Akihabara? Yeah, let's go to Akihabara. The gaming collectible capital for a lot of people. Let's try this out, son, yes. We're going in. We're going in, son. <laughs> so. Well, PC zone. We're on PlayStation, there's a PC zone like, store right in front of us. Ooh, nice. Oh jeez, one right through my attack. Don't be foolish. Oh jeez. Ooh, dodge that. Let's see if we can go in on him. Good damage. Oh wow, that dodge, you saw that? Jeez. Don't be foolish. That's enough. Let's see if we can get a nice super going. There we go. Yeah. He reminds me of Kiyosuke you from uh, was it Rival but... Schools or Project Justice? Like his old vibe. Like again with the glasses. He's got lightning powers. You're finished. Lightning. Oh, wow. Right, right through my attack. Ooh, okay. Big time damage, son. Now, funny enough, I've noticed a couple times when I've been playing this game, like, when you clash, sometimes you get into these states... Ooh, nice. Where... The meter will go up, like, pretty fast. I forgot what state that it's called, but again, it's specifically when, like, when you attacks, like, land together. And all of a sudden, your actual meter will start, like, growing, like, exponentially. Oh, wow. Didn't even kill him because she's like, you know, okay, now we got her. There we go. Finished her. Going all out would have been a waste. Too bad it was a waste anyway. <laughs> but anyway... There you go. <laughs> Some of the gameplay. My and the voice acting is pretty good. I'll, I'll give them the voice you. acting. You gotta get handed to a lot of anime fighting based games or anime fighters. They do really good with the voice acting. So there is a couple other things in here. Now I'm not gonna show too much of the story mode because I don't think I could show you the story mode. I actually have my notes in front of me what we're allowed to show as far as like anything else. Uh, yeah, I'm just looking just to be sure. Now again, we're good here. Let's go to solo mode just to show a little bit of here. Because we got score attack, time attack, endless battle, arcade, which is very similar. Let's go with the arcades, kind of like mess around with it. Be a good portion of the video here. Let's go with some more waifus. Again, if this is your jam, this is your jam. Like, I can't really tell you otherwise. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go with Rimi. Well, let me change, see, show you guys the different outfits we got here. Again, just changing with the shoulder buttons. Them as purple. She reminds me there of someone from like, uh, was it Death Note? Or from like, uh, can't remember the, the anime. Uh, what is it? Like, I think it's like High School of the Dead or something. A little bit like that. Let's go, let's go with, uh, let's see what we got here. Let's go with, uh, let's go with this purple. I'm feeling the purple. So, as far as this stuff, um, I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go with the Omina style. Just to kind of keep in line with this, with the purple motif. Just keep going with arcade here. And if you're liking the gameplay, guys, if you're liking the whole setup that I got going on, 
Leave me a like on the video. Leave me a comment with your thoughts about Phantom Breaker Amina, at least this first impression of it. Okay. Talk to me about that stuff. Let's get a good conversation going in the comments. All right, nice. Ooh. Trying to keep the attack pressure up. Ooh, double attack, whoa. Ooh, there, I don't know what, how, some of these attacks, like, when they come in through, like, you know, like, stuff me out, like, I don't understand why. Um, oh, son, that was nice, you saw that? That was a 24-hit combo, dude. Oh my god, why can't I follow up there? Ooh, what the hell happened there? Ooh, what happened there? Damn. I didn't even see that attack come out. It's a little annoying. Could you even see my blade work? Shizuka. I can't skip this. Gotta find out why I can't skip that. Okay, so a little bit of a transition there. I just noticed that. Like, I'm pretty sure like every stage is like that. Ooh. The range. The range, son. Let's go. Oh, I couldn't stuff that out. I had my leg out there. Whoa, OTG. Look at that, see? Just saw it now, like the, the actual state that just like all of a sudden just started boosting. Oh god, yes, son, yes, son! Oh god, no. Got him, finished him. A lot of combos there. A lot of freaking combos, son. Humans cause suffering even when they Look at that, very anime. Very anime heroine like. Let's go. Let's do this, son, yeah. Let's go, no. Like, some of those hits did not land. Oh my god. Let's try that again. Oh, follow up copies. Oh my god. Freaking. Whoa, look at that. Knocked like halfway across the stage. Oh my god, what the heck is so many clashes? Get out of there. Oh my god, I even stopped one of the first hits. Ooh, nice one. Stuffed out of attack. Ooh, yes. That was like canceled out her whole super. Wow, like air combos and destroyed me. This computer could be a little tough, I'm not gonna lie. Just a little tough. It's like, Jay, you just lost. It's like, well, you know, first time really playing the game. It'll take more than mere delusions to bring me down. But anyway, let's take a look now at some of the other stuff, even though. Again, I'm probably not going to continue just to gonna move on just to see some of the other modes. At least I could show you guys. We have uh, records, we have a gallery stuff and everything else, but not really much to show. As a reference uh, section where it talks about like some of the actual uh, different sections of like how to play the game. You know, it's really, uh, really interesting. We got the training mode, which is, you know, exactly what you think is the training mode, which is cool. Not really much to see there, but let's try one more matchup. Okay, or better yet, before even then, because I'm not going to show you much of the story, but I'll show you, like, how it looks as far as, like, playing some of the story mode. Now, I haven't played a lot of this because, again, it's really cutscene stuff. It's really just what you would expect out of a fighting game story mode. Not really much to really mess with. Yeah, there you go. I played a little bit of uh, hers. But uh, unless you really want to know what's going on with the lore of this type of game, then, you know, that's all you. Uh, let's do one more matchup. Just for the sake of gameplay showcasing, because it's coming up on the end of the video. Let's uh let's try someone different. Let's try um uh, let's try the pop star here, Finn. 
Look at her. She looks like something out of like a Hatsune Miku. Let's go hard style. Let's go with um, another Lolita. Let's go with Sophia. Let's go with uh, let's go with Amina. There we go. And then we'll go right over to someplace we haven't really been to. Shibuya. Let's go to Shibuya. That sounds cool. I'm telling you, a lot of waifus. A lot of stuff going on with this. Let's do this. Yeah! It's go time. Phantom Breaker Amina. I will break you. Love the effects. It looks good. Let's go. Oh, grabs. Ooh, good one. Ooh, damn. Let's do that. Oh my god, just firing a lot of lasers. Oh. Oh. Oh, jeez. Again. Oh, big hammer. She's just firing over. Oh, wow, she went right through that. Oh, hyper beam. Let's go. Got her. Nice. You saw that? Had a freaking. Was a Unibeam cannon, <laughs> practically. Like a, something out of Marvel 2 or whatever from Iron Man. Let's do it again. Let's go. More more damage. Let's go. There's a big hammer. Whoa. Jeez. Let's keep it good. Ooh, I didn't want that. Oh my god, I'm trying to hit the hit him with the hammer. But now we got the hammer time. Yeah. Big time! You the beam! Oh wow, she blocked her? Oh wow. Counter. <laughs> that was cool, that was a little back dash I did. Nice. It's hammer time! Yeah. <laughs> it's funny. But yeah, there you go, guys. That's my look at Phantom Breaker Amina. I'm playing this on PlayStation 5, but it's going to be available for multiple platforms as well as Steam. Uh, and yeah, just let me know your overall thoughts in the comments down below. Leave a like on the video, like I said, and subscribe to the channel. And uh, just give me your thoughts overall about what you feel like this game is about or how you feel about seeing some of the gameplay from this. I will talk to all of you again very soon.